Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Amazon and the rumors and uh, why they don't really hold any merit or ground that Amazon will go adopt crypto. Now, all of these rumors, I don't really know who they start, uh, who they were started by because they definitely weren't started by Amazon itself. I think it's some guy on Reddit and, or maybe just a YouTube personality that wanted to get views that started these rumors. But they are all untrue. Amazon is not going to accept any of their cryptocurrencies directly for their products on Amazon.com. I'll explain why that's really not possible for Amazon right now and what they could actually do. Now, all of this started with a job posting. That job posting, if you actually read it, it was pretty clear that Amazon wanted someone to deal with like stable coins and or CBDCs in the future, which is very, very much like what I would expect. Now, the reason that Amazon will not be accepting crypto directly. Now, you can buy with like your crypto uh, credit cards on Amazon, but all that really happens there is that you're, you convert your crypto into fiat and then Amazon accepts the fiat. Amazon's not accepting crypto for payment directly and then keeping it in their coffers. And that's because it's the same reason on a much, much bigger scale, obviously, that I would actually invest in crypto, which I do, but I wouldn't want my salary in crypto, which I don't. I have gotten paid in Ethereum before, but I just basically just held it for two weeks, liquidated it, and then like, you know, paid like rent and food with it. And that's what, and that's like the main thing. Like Amazon is a buyer seller. They have suppliers to pay. They have bills to pay, like electricity bills and costs of business. They're not going to want to accept their income in crypto because crypto is too volatile. Now you're thinking, you might be saying, well, but crypto goes up way up over the long term. That's true. But when you're talking about like the income they get, they have to use that income to pay everyday expenses. So over like a three hour or one day period, you don't know if it's going to go up or down. And that's what they have to consider for merchants. Like merchants have to pay their suppliers on a routine basis every day. Amazon has to pay their electricity bill, like at least probably like bi-monthly or monthly. And they have to pay their workers' salaries probably bi-monthly as well. In a 15-day stretch, there is no way you can guarantee that Bitcoin or crypto is going to go up. They can't like, you know, buy a $60,000 Bitcoin and then like by the time it comes to pay their bills or pay their workers, it's now $40,000. You can't just be like, oh yeah, our crypto went down. You're only getting paid two-thirds of your salary. No, that doesn't work. You're going to get sued. Same thing with their merchants and their like electricity buyers, obviously. So... Because crypto is so volatile, there's no way they're going to accept Bitcoin. And I know like a couple of YouTube personalities said they might be like using Algorand or Cardano or any of these things. No, that's not true. They're not going to use a crypto to fund their system because honestly, our country and our society still runs on fiat and you need fiat to buy a lot of stuff. And you're not going to be able to ensure that you can pay your workers, pay your bills and pay your upstream suppliers if you actually accept payments in crypto and hold payments in crypto. Now, like I said, with these crypto cards, you can just liquidate your crypto and then pay Amazon and fiat. And you can, I'm pretty sure you can do that on Amazon right now. But for them to directly connect to your Bitcoin wallet and accept your cryptocurrency, that's not gonna happen. That's way, way too much risk for Amazon. So all these rumors that you're hearing, I think have basically zero chance of actually happening. And that's, what, uh, that's why Amazon came out and made the statement because they know as a business that they can't actually do this. However, what could be is exciting is that Amazon, uh, Google, et cetera, can hold Bitcoin and other crypto in their coffers or like, you know, in their uh, treasury. And we know Tesla does that. Now that's possible because when you hold something in your treasury, that's more long-term. You can afford to wait for six months or a year. Obviously you wouldn't hold all of it in crypto because that's too volatile as well. And that could really affect your, you know, company's earnings and your like, you know, quarterly reports and all that. They're not going to do that, but they could actually hold part of it in their treasury. And these companies have big treasuries. And um, they're public companies, though. They do actually have to disclose. So I don't think they're holding it in their treasury right now, but they could possibly do it in the future. And especially if they see crypto as kind of like having a huge future, they will definitely do that. So the thing is, like, that's something that we can get excited about. That could be billions of dollars worth of buys for Bitcoin. And for those of you that believe that the Tesla buys have had a big effect on Bitcoin going up to 60000 we could actually get that reverberating effect again. But as for them actually accepting crypto, into their everyday buys and sells, accepting crypto into their everyday business, it's not going to happen. It's just like, you know, you know, I don't want my salary to be paid in crypto because when it times comes time to pay my rent, I don't want to be able to only to afford half my rent. I don't want to be able to afford only half a burger. What am I going to do? Like go hungry because my crypto that was worth $60,000 is worth $30,000 now? No, no. It's the same for Amazon. So the whole rumor of the whole rumor of uh, them actually directly accepting crypto as payment and then keeping it in their coffers to pay bills and stuff, 
absolutely untrue, zero percent chance of happening, but they can actually keep it in their long-term treasuries. But that's a separate buy issue. That's not going to affect their consumers, but that would affect the crypto market and it could go, um, that it could lead us in a bull run. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.